Hello, people. This is just a short touch and go on uh, reading stuff from Unreal Engine directly into Nuke. And um, for this small uh, test, I've used the uh, material from the Epic Games launcher called Palace Hall. Uh, back then, when I got it, it was free. I don't know if it's free anymore, but it's a beautiful, beautiful uh, staging. And if it's free, I would definitely recommend you for uh, to try it out. Um, so I uh, I got this set up here, and uh, I also imported this character from uh, Mixamo with the character and, and the animation for the I chose for the character. Um, if you don't know how to use it, I would recommend you for search for Mixamo. On YouTube and uh, there's a lot of tutorials on how to do that so uh, I've made this uh, sequence with a camera and with the with the character who's walking here in sorry uh, inside the scene and I want to see that in nuke one-to-one -one. So if you go if you go inside um, Nuke, it's here, and we push the tap button and we search for the Unreal Reader. By the way, um, before we do that, we have to install the uh, uh, Nuke server and so on, and you can find tutorials on how to do that. And we have to start a Nuke server. It's running, so. Uh, I'm kind of impressed how it works like immediately so if you're going to uh, open the Unreal Reader and connect to server it will more or less automatically open the scene that you're currently working on you see it's now thinking and here you go and the one I'm working on is called Palace four and the 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 sequence for that one is called uh, the broke up sequence and when I push one you can see it here directly in nuke so. Uh, by pushing uh, S to go for the global settings, I can change the resolution to be uh, full HD, and it will make it work. And you can see already here one to one, it's working quite well, and I can scrub through. One way through it's going to take some time to to update but that's just how things are maybe you can get a faster computer than I have <laughs> um, so um, you can go optimize some things on the way stuff looks if you double click here on on reader uh, you can set uh, disable uh, tone curve and you can set the fully uh, load used uh, texture so you get all the texture with you and you can set the anti aliasing to I would go for 16 and you will get a more clean image and here's a test on how to see directly one to one if you close that in the sequence here and if you search for lights you can see the light source here maybe you don't want it to be so bright you can say let's say 25 and uh, indirect light intensity let's well it's five and and the guard rays five and you can go ahead and save and I'll read it fit the latest and see how that works. So a bit more a bit more depth to the image. Now 
One cool thing, and I will just walk through uh, quickly through it, is how to see uh, this in uh, 3D as well. So the first thing you will have to go to do is in your render settings. They have all these render passes here. You can see directly in in Nuke. So you can set it here and update the channel list and after you've done that you can see these render passes directly in your viewport the the, the color map of of each render pass so to speak so one thing we can do is go into the shuffle node and we can uh, add a uh, position po position tools which is doing kind of obvious what we are saying it's saying is that doing it's setting the position of the elements to points so uh, you can you can attach that to the original image original um, uh, let's say render from Unreal and you can attach this to the shuffle though in the side of shuffle you can say let's say let's shuffle the world position to points and if you hit this uh, tab bar here oh by the way I have to make one thing here which is very cool you can take the camera like this camera from Unreal. And you can tell Nuke, create that camera and link it to uh, the sequence or the scene or the output from Unreal. And boom, there you go. So if you double click on it, go inside here, you can say and you can see that we have the camera. I'm putting F to focus on it and you can see here at the same time you can also see by the help of the point position to points you can see the scene and its elements directly here in full 3d space uh, and i'm just asking how cool is that you can make it more precise here by making the point size smaller than five you can make it one and it, it will make it even more precise but at the same time it will reduce uh, your time of it will it will require more of your computer of course but set it set it set, set, set it to three so and it's actually in this viewport getting more precise so this is a uh, this is how it looks at this moment and uh, let's get back here to sorry uh, the RGBA and uh, and how it looks here. Like this. So if you push space and you can see it like this. And let's just make a quick render um, of this. Uh, before we do that, let's set by pushing S. Let's put uh, frame to 30 and set the frame rate the, the frame range from 1 to 150 and I'm just going to make it uh, render directly and um, see the result when we're done. So here it is the render um, and important to say the viewport render I took this scene from from the Epic Games Palace called Palace Hall, imported this uh, Mixamo character into it and let her have a small walk. And here I imported it directly into New in the viewport to see how it works before making the big render.